You know, there's a few people out there that claim they can make consistent and effective and accurate hits on target. Even something about the size of a soda can, out to 700 plus yards with a 22 long rifle. But is it really effective on target at that distance? Is it even possible? Just how effective is a 22 long rifle? Let's find that out today. Welcome back everybody, Clint today with Classic Firearms, here to talk about one of my favorite calibers, 22 long rifle, and just how effective is that round? And since we're talking about one of my favorite calibers, I figured I'd bring out one of my favorite guns. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. This is the American Beauty by Henry, the lever action company that I grew up with, of course, and one of my personal favorites. This thing is just gorgeous, got a cute little rose on it and everything. It's even called the American Beauty. Yeah, the octagonal barrel, everything else, it's just, awesome. Anyway, to talk about 22 long rifle, I think obviously we need to bring up some previous tests that we've all seen. I mean, you know, Grand Thumb did his, of course. And then many, 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 many years ago, uh, our friends Iraq Veteran 8888 and 22 Plankster also uh, collaborated on a video together and they were able to do, get shots on target uh, at some pretty effective ranges and what they also thought was an effective range to take down some small prey, things like that, right? And uh, everybody kind of saw that, well, you start to lose the potential of accuracy and consistency, which is key, uh, at about 500 yards for 22 long rifle, depending on the round that you are shooting. So just how effective is 22 long rifle? At what point is it kind of like, meh? In previous videos, I explained that the FBI did a uh, analytic, uh, some sort of testing that said uh, that you know, to deliver an incapacitating shot, you need about 60 foot-pounds of energy or so. And then, of course, the NRA and a couple of other organizations uh, kind of said, hey, if you really want to deliver an inca incapacitating shot, something that's going to uh, pretty much stop a threat, you need somewhere between 280, 300 foot-pounds of energy, something like that. Okay, cool. Right off the bat, 22 will not deliver. <laughs> 22 long rifle will not deliver that type of energy transfer to target uh, that the NRA was talking about. Which, by the way, we will be at the uh, NRA annual meet this year, getting more interviews, talking to a couple of you guys out there. Uh, but while I'm talking about them, make sure you're supporting organizations like uh, Gun Owners of America that actually fight for your rights and all. And there's a lot of things happening right now, you know, in the uh, two-way sphere. So make sure you're uh, keeping up to date on that, contacting your state, local, federal representatives, and uh, telling them to push for two a pro two a uh, legislation. Anyway, with all that being said, uh, let's talk about a 22 long rifle. Fun gun, to, fun, fun round to shoot, no recoil. Uh, somewhat quiet, can still be loud, of course, so make sure you're shooting with your ear and eye protection because, you know, things can go wrong, of course. Uh, but as far as the gun shoots, yeah, it's an easy, fun gun to shoot. I grew up on a 22. Um, that was the gun that I spent the most time with uh, in my childhood. Kind of a Henry, kind of like this one that you see right here in front of me, except all black, nowhere near as pretty. Uh, but anyway, so CCI, they're probably one of the largest, you know, more popular, I guess you could say, um, manufacturers of 22 long rifle. I've got a box of uh, Winchester that you see right here. And here is just your standard little 22 long rifle round. So I've got the Target Mini Mag by CCI, which is a 40 grain, 1,235 feet per second. So a little bit of a difference. You'll typically find 22 to be anywhere between, you know, 1,200 to even 1,500 feet per second, uh, somewhere in there. And what type of velocity are you getting at the muzzle with that? 1,235 at about 50 yards, 1,092, 75 yards, 1,040, 100 yards. Uh, you're looking at 998. Uh, feet per second. So, I mean, it's still moving fairly quickly at 100 yards, uh, but if you go much beyond that, you're not getting a lot. But what really matters is that energy transfer. And you'll see that we actually are delivering incapacitating uh, damage, if that's what you want to call it, or an incapacitating effect onto target uh, right, out, right off the bat. Again, NRA, other organizations uh, that you know, kind of did like their own testing that said, you know, anywhere between like the 280, 300, 320 uh, feet per second or uh, foot pounds of energy to deliver that incapacitating effect. The FBI said about 60. Uh, well, at the muzzle, 135 foot pounds of energy. 
50 yards, 106, 75 yards, 96, and 100 yards, 88 foot-pounds of energy. And if you keep with that trajectory, you get about to 150 yards and you're pretty much done. Uh, so, in theory, it should be about it, right? But as we continue to see, you know, there's been plenty of other videos, plenty of other demonstrations out there that show that 22 long rifle is very much so capable at penetrating, you know, bare skin and actually delivering a pretty devastating blow, uh, even at lengths of or distances up to 400 yards. The problem is, is consistency. Because what you'll notice is for such a small, small and light projectile, again, only being 40 grain, some of them even 32, 36 grain, even lighter, uh, in some regards, that this thing can get pushed around by the environmental factors very, very easily. So if you got a gust of wind here or there, it can just kind of get pushed around all over the place. However, I will tell you this, that the 22 long rifle cartridge also within a practical distance, let's just say 100 yards, is super accurate, especially out of a rifle. It is a very accurate cartridge and one that I can go ahead and tell you right now, I don't care at what distance, I would not want to be hit by it, <laughs> quite simply. Because when you think about how small this little guy is too, and if it does, you know, we're not talking, a lot of the testing that's been done, things like that, uh, they're not testing with clothing and, and stuff like that. I mean, we can probably get some of our own, you know, gel and whatnot and actually test layers of clothing, see what type of penetration we get there. Let me know if you would like to see that video down in the comment section below about maybe a, uh, this, this, would, this could be a fun video about like a penetration test on multiple, you know, torsos with different types of clothing, you know, summertime clothes, t-shirt, how deep will a t-shirt, you know, mess with the penetration of a 22? We already know for larger calibers, it's not going to mess that much, right? How about a heavier jacket? You know, how about a leather jacket versus, you know, a, you know I don't know, a cotton jacket or whatever it could be. Different styles of clothing and, and what that might do. I don't know. Again, for science, just for fun. Let me know what you guys think about that, a penetration test, if you will. Uh, so anyway, with the 22 long rifle cartridge in 40 grain, uh, which is pretty popular, it does get pushed around a little bit by its environmental effects, but within that 100 yards, 150 yards, it is super accurate. And also depends on the person shooting the gun. If you can make contact, I mean, if we had 22 Plinkster in here and he's wanting to hit a target out at 500 yards or so, and he so chooses to do so, which he can repeatedly, uh, depending on what you know, what he's working with. Um, yeah, you know, I wouldn't want to be his adversary, put it that way, right? So it really comes down to also uh, training, practice, make sure you're going out there and spending some time. And what's great about 22 is the fact that you can shoot a lot of it without having to break the bank. So how effective is it? I already kind of broke down a couple of the numbers for you. Uh, there's also, if we wanted to go a little bit further, did some more digging and found this information here and let's just talk about that 22 let's talk about the uh, velocitor that's a 40 grain projectile uh, so that's going to be pretty similar to the winchester that we have over here and the muzzle velocity on that guy is pretty quick 1435 feet per second all right uh, if you're looking at 100 yards you're looking at 1084 feet per second 200 yards i like how these go straight to 200 yards 921 feet per second Muzzle energy, 183 foot-pounds of energy. And then let's go ahead and move on over to the 100 yards, 104, 200 yards, 75. So even up to, you know, again, 200 yards, it depends on your game also. If you're just doing squirrel, rabbit, small game type stuff, that is a lethal effect on target uh, in order to make your next meal or, you know, whatever. So. You know, there you have it, really. It's a small round. It's very accurate, uh, especially I think one thing that really helps its accuracy is uh, people aren't anticipating the recoil of a 22 long rifle cartridge as much as they would, let's say, a 9mm or even something smaller, like a 5.7, which isn't even heavy recoiling, uh, however, and is also super accurate, very fast. But when you shoot a 22, I think you just give a it gives yourself a little bit more confidence because you don't have to worry so much, you know, about recoil and whatnot, especially for new shooters. And as a cartridge that I definitely recommend that everybody have. I mean, personally, I own a, I think I actually own more 22s than any other caliber because they're just so freaking fun. And on top of that, if this is a cartridge you wanted to use for personal defense or something along those lines, I would personally like to have something that's going to deliver a more incapacitating effect, uh, more trauma initially. Uh, to stop that threat. 
right? So I would want something that has a little bit more energy being delivered or transferred to the target from the projectile, uh, ultimately from me. And that's my thoughts on that. However, that's not to say that 22 is inadequate or not able to deliver an incapacitating effect, especially when it is hitting a vital area, uh, then yeah, it's probably going to at least slow down an aggressor, right? On top of that, let's talk about quick follow-up shots, right? So how effective is 22? Well, how quickly can you lay into that target? Uh, well, if you can do that multiple times accurately, especially with your point of impact being a vital area, then yeah, you're, it's gonna be very effective, especially if it's in, you know, 15 yards or something like that. Uh, so, you know, take that for what you will, right? Not super scientifically, scientific -y, I guess you could say today, but again, we just wanted to talk a little bit about this cartridge and get you guys sounding off down to the comment section about 22 long rifle. I remember reading in the back of a magazine at one point, uh, you know, talking about there was a woman that had a 10 round magazine for her 22 long rifle pistol. Guy was breaking in and she shot pretty much all those rounds. And uh, this is why I also advocate for you know, slightly larger capacity, uh, but uh, especially if you're gonna be shooting a smaller projectile. Uh, but he got the job done. She's alive and well and not a victim. So uh, there you go, right? But at the end of the day, you know, it's better than nothing. <laughs> that might sound like an insult to the 22 cartridge. It isn't. I can tell you that right now. This is still, at the end of the day, this is not a toy. This is a very effective cartridge that is going to deliver in a desired effect uh, on target within reason. So as long as you're not trying to engage, you know, heavily armored targets out at 500 yards, this thing's probably gonna do a very good job at doing whatever you need it to do. So just take that uh, into consideration. And again, make sure you're practicing all the safety fun stuff. Uh, get those fundamentals down too, you know, focus on your breathing, slow, steady squeeze, all that. And of course, just be safe. Go out there, enjoy it, and introduce somebody into shooting with a 22 long rifle cartridge. Just like that right there. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section before. If you're willing to share, let us know down in the comment section, have you ever used this cartridge in a defensive manner, uh, hunting, something like that, and along those lines? Just let us know, I'm curious. And of course, this is one of the reasons we really like to do the videos is because we like to hear from you guys down in the comment section uh, that has had experience out in the field or whatever uh, with whatever the topic might be, all right? So let us know, again, down in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out what we've got going on at cfcontest.com. It's always a good time over there. And guys, as always, we appreciate your business. God bless. And we'll see you next time at the range.